What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the hinges on your cabinet doors. In this case it's a pantry. Let's do this. Alright guys, so if we have a look here, we've got the pantry door that's hitting at the top. Okay, it's a very common problem. Um, whether I close it from the right hand side, the right hand seems to hit over. And if I was to let the right hand side sit in, we've also got the left hand sitting over. So I'm going to show you guys a quick way to find out which hinge actually is the problem. If we have a look at the side of the cabinet, okay, so if we start from the bottom, we can see here that the actual cabinet door and the, uh, sorry, the pantry is flush. Okay, so if I run my hand along the side, it's flush. As I work my way up, you can see the gap starts to get a little bit bigger as the door moves over to one side. By the time I get up to the top, there's a significant gap and that's what's causing the overlap over here. So that's an easy way to find out which hinge actually needs to be adjusted, whether it's the left or the right. And now I'll be showing you guys how to adjust this hinge right here, now that we know that this one here is the issue. All right guys, so the only tool that you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, which looks just like that. That is a Phillips head screwdriver. There's two adjustments that can be made on this. Now this screw here on the left allows an adjustment and also the screw on the right. If I was to loosen this screw here and turn that over to the left, that allows the door to move back and forward in this manner. This screw here allows it to move back and forward just like that so that we can realign the cabinet door in line with the actual pantry itself. That is the adjustment screw that we'll be using now. However, I just want to quickly run through this one here and show you exactly what kind of difference this one here makes. So if I'm to turn this one here over to the left, just like that, that allows the cabinet door to move back and forward. So as you can see, now it's nice and loose. We can move that back and forward. However, this one here is not the problem. All right, guys, so that screw on the left that I'm showing you guys now is for when your cabinet doors are in this position. So when you've got one door that doesn't close all the way and continuously comes back up just like that, that is what that screw on the left-hand side is for. Um, so if I tighten that one there back up, and now concentrate on this one here. So if I'm to reduce this one by turning over to the left, you can see the cabinets actually started to shift over. So I'll quickly have a look on the outside to see if that one's lined up properly. So as we can see, now it's completely flush. Run all the way down. Once again, completely flush. So if I close that cabinet door now, that's exactly the way we want it to be. No more overlap, problem solved. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, that's how to adjust the hinges on your cabinet doors, um, if there's anything else that you guys want to learn how to do in or around your house, put it in the comment section below and I'd be happy to show you guys how to do it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, until next time I'm Bill, thanks for watching Bill's How To.